Hi there, everybody. How are you doing? It's so lovely to meet you. My name is Charlene and I work down in Willowfield Church in Belfast. And I hope that you've had a really good time over the last few sessions looking at some of the big emotions and how important they are in our lives. Remember that emotions aren't bad things. Even the ones that seem a little bit scary are there to protect us and to look after us. But it's important that we don't let those big emotions become bigger than God in our lives and that he is more powerful than anything that we can ever face or imagine imagine. So can you guys help me out a wee second? I've been having to think about what emotions we've covered because I've forgotten which one I was supposed to be talking about. So let me see. Uh -huh. We've had a look at, we've had a look at anger and we've had a look at sadness. I remember we did a, a little talk on disgust and I'm pretty sure there was one on fear as well. So what's left for me to talk about? Joy! Amazing! Joy is my favourite character in the whole movie. I love how cheerful and bright and fun she is and how no matter what is going on around her, she always seems to have a really good positive attitude. And after the year that we've had and all of the difficulties and struggles and everything that comes from lockdowns and from COVID and from not seeing our friends and not being able to go about our normal lives. It's felt actually the joy is in a little bit of short supply this year. So I'm so glad that we get to have a look at someone in the Bible who experienced joy. But I guess my question for you is, what is joy? There's a big difference between joy and happiness. Happiness depends on the world around us. It depends on happenings, whereas joy always comes from God. And this year, more than any other year, we have learned that the things that we rely on to make us happy might not necessarily always be there. As we had to spend a lot of time indoors on our own this year, isolating or in lockdown. We lost our ability to play with our friends or go to school, and we all spent a lot more time looking at screens and watching TV. I don't know about you, but this year made me really, really think about what I rely on to make me happy. Did you ever end up talking to photos of your friends because you missed them so much? The Bible tells us, of course, that joy comes from God and God alone. And if it comes from God, well, that means that even when our churches are closed, Whenever we can't go to our programs and Sunday schools and see all of the things that we know and love in the world, whenever they're gone, the only thing that remains is God. Our Bible story today is going to have a little look at the life of a man who was actually quite happy, but he had absolutely no joy until he met Jesus. His name was Zacchaeus, and instead of just reading out the story to you, I thought I would bring my amazing TikTok acting skills into play. So prepare yourselves for the world premiere of Charlene's version of the story of Zacchaeus. I hope it's okay. Meet Zacchaeus. We often think of him as a short, grumpy man. Uh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> Zacchaeus was a tax collector, which meant that he was someone who was very happy because he had lots and lots of money that he had taken from the people in the town. He was very rich, but nobody liked him. Everybody thought he was the worst for stealing all their money. Jesus was traveling through town meeting people and wherever he went, lots of crowds would appear. Lots and lots of people wanted to meet Jesus, including our friend Zacchaeus but he was too short to see over all of the crowds of people. Luckily, he had a plan. He spotted a nearby tree and was able to climb to the very top of it so that he could see over the crowds and spot Jesus. Jesus looked up and saw Zacchaeus in the tree. He called him down and he said to him, Zacchaeus, I'm coming to your house for dinner. Zacchaeus was so happy to have Jesus come to his house, even though everybody else was really annoyed about this. They were fuming. After meeting Jesus, Zacchaeus realized that the life he'd been living wasn't okay. 
He paid back all of the money that he had stolen and completely changed his life. He was going after joy, not happiness. I wonder about which kind of emotions would be going on through Zacchaeus's head. After all, at the start of the story, he was somebody who had made some really, really bad choices. He had cheated people out of their money. He had taken it from them instead of helping them. He was also someone who was looked down on because of his height and how he looked on the outside. He maybe felt anger about that. He maybe felt disgust at himself for how he behaved and the choices that he made that led him to maybe feel sad and alone. Sometimes the choices that we make in our lives, they can have a huge impact on our emotional response. But one of the best choices that we can make is to meet Jesus. And that's what happened. Zacchaeus might have been filled with anger and disgust and fear at the start of this story. But at the end of it, he meets Jesus. And when we meet Jesus, we meet joy. So last time we were talking, we were able to see how Jesus was able to take one of the saddest moments of his life, which was the death of his friend Lazarus, and turn it into a moment of great joy. Now we're going to see that sadness is not the only emotion that leads us to a place of joy. Zacchaeus was known as one of the most despised, most unlovable people that Jesus ever met in the Bible. He was a crook. He stole money from people. Any friends were only friends with him because he had money and would spend it on them. He had lots of happiness that came from money, but he had absolutely no real joy. Jesus changed Zacchaeus. In one afternoon, he took this miserable, grumpy, horrible man and he turned him into a generous and loving person. Zacchaeus gave his heart to Jesus and he chose not only to give back every penny that he had stolen, but even more money in addition. Zacchaeus gave all of himself to Jesus and he became a man filled entirely with joy. So we've all met people a little bit like Zacchaeus, right? People who are never happy. They seem to just love being miserable and unlovely. We see people who are always angry, people who are always disgusted and sad and fearful. It's not a very nice way to live and those people aren't always the most fun to be around. Jesus wants to change us from the inside out. He wants to take all of the stuff in us, all of the fear, all of the sadness, all of the disgust and the anger, and he wants to transform it into joy from knowing him. It doesn't mean that we won't feel those emotions occasionally. And I'm pretty sure we can all think of times this year where we have felt those emotions bubbling up within us that felt overwhelming and difficult to manage. God will always help us keep those emotions in check. He will transform them into joy. He will give us comfort and peace whenever we need it. And he will always put a smile back on our face whenever we have joy. So whenever God fills our life with joy, it makes us like a light in the world. And if you've seen the movie Inside Out, what color is joy represented by? Yellow, of course, the brightest color, the color that you can't miss. Just as joyful memories shine brighter than any other in our lives, our lives will be a bright light that reveals the love of God to the people around us. People will know that we are Christians by the love that we share and by the joy that they can see in our lives. They will know by the kind words that we choose to use and the little acts of kindness that we do for other people around us. Remember that seriousness is not a fruit of the spirit, but joy is. So hold on to joy. Hold on to those little things that come from God that give us joy. Every single one of us is a bundle of emotions. I have about 5 million emotions every minute, it feels like at the minute. We all have anger and sadness and fear and disgust within us at all times. These feelings help us navigate the world around us. They keep us safe. They all have an important part to play in our lives. But when we give our hearts to Jesus, he gives us joy and joy helps us even in the worst experiences of our lives. 
if Jesus was able to transform someone like Zacchaeus, someone who was a crook and a thief, someone who had stolen money from people, who was selfish and had a life that wasn't full of joy, if Jesus can transform his life into someone who is kind and generous, well, what can he do in your life? How can knowing Jesus and experiencing the joy of knowing him transform your life? If you have never given your life to Jesus, if you have never said, Jesus, you are my saviour, I love you and I want to follow you, ask him to be your Lord today. Don't be afraid. Joy is at the other end of that question. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for giving us Jesus. Take all of our emotions, Lord, and help us transform them into joy through knowing you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is your mission if you choose to accept it. Why not buy a plant for someone and stick a little lollipop stick or a card in it with your favourite Bible verse? Hopefully something that will bring them joy and remind them of God's love for them forever. So we've been working on our memory verse, Deuteronomy 6, 5, and let's say it together. Are you guys ready? All right, here we go. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Deuteronomy 6, verse 5. Great job, guys. Now that we've got that down, let's try the actions. Three, two, one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. Deuteronomy 6 verse 5. What would happen if I sped up the tape? Hmm, let's try it again, but super fast. 3, 2, 1. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. Deuteronomy 6 verse 5. Ooh, that's fun. Let's do it again, but a little faster. 3, 2, 1. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. Deuteronomy 6 verse 5. I hope you guys have enjoyed our online holiday Bible club, Inside Out, Upside Down, taking a look at our emotions. 
Just a reminder that our in-person Holiday Bible Club starts tomorrow at Holy Trinity in Bambridge. If you've not yet signed up, sign up today. See you there.